you are going to be creating a map of a town called Angleton. The first slide of this four slide file lists the instructions. There are 10 things that you have to do. Okay. The next three slides are different street views that you can pick for your project. Doesn't matter which one you pick. So the first thing, the very first thing you're going to do is decide what town you're going to use. And then you will delete the other two files or the other two slides. To delete, you're going to right click and click delete. Right click and click delete. Now your Google slide file has two, two slides to it, your street view and your instructions. The next thing you're going to do is read through all of the instructions. You're going to be making Angleton's map based on these 10 things. You have to name your streets and you have to place your buildings in the proper locations based on angle vocabulary. You're looking at obtuse corners, acute corners, right corners, vertical and supplementary. When you're looking at obtuse corners, you're looking at the angle that is bigger than 90 degrees. If you're looking at, at acute angle corners, you're looking at the corner that is less than 90. And of course, your right angle corners. All right. So to name streets, you're going to need to pick the text box. So you're going to click on the text box and you're going to drop it on your slide. Use the boxes to shrink or enlarge the slide or the text box. Click inside to type the street name. That's all there is to it. To, do, to label the streets that are perpendicular or diagonal, again, click the text box, shrink the street name, call it something. And you're going to use this circle here to rotate it. So to rotate the text box, you're going to click on the circle. And you're going to, while clicking on it and holding it down your left mouse key, you're going to move your finger on your mouse pad. And that will rotate the box. You can rotate it so it's perpendicular. Or you can rotate it so it's diagonal to fit on your street. Try and get it as close as you can. All right. The next thing you have to do is pick your buildings. To pick your buildings, you're going to look for triangles and quadrilaterals. Remember, a quadrilateral has four sides. Click on the shape button, choose your shapes, and pick your quadrilateral or your triangle. Make sure you check the side count. This is not a quadrilateral. This is not a quadrilateral. Neither are these. You need four sides, so a rectangle, a parallelogram, a trapezoid, or a diamond. Those are all quadrilaterals. You have a trapezoid down here. This is an irregular trapezoid. You have an upside down trapezoid. You can pick these shapes and you can make them different sizes. So click on the shape you want and drag it to make the size that you wish on your screen. To change the color, make sure it's highlighted and go to the fill color button. Click that and you get your menu. You can pick a solid color or you can pick a gradient. A gradient just gives you some shading. Either way, you want to make sure your shapes are colored. Now you want to name your shape. You can do this two ways. If you double click on the shape, you can type in the shape itself, or you can make a text box. If you do a text box, you can overlay that on your shape. So let's pick a triangle. You can do it as an equal, equilateral triangle or stretch it out for isosceles. Let's give it a color. And this one, I'm going to do a text box and I'm going to say, uh, CVS. 
So a drugstore name or whatever name you need. If you're going to use a text box, try and fit it somewhere on the shape. Okay. Make sure your shapes are in the proper corners. So if I need a shape, if I need a building in a right corner, I want to put it close into that corner. If I want the building in an obtuse corner, I want to move it as close as possible to that corner. So there is no doubt that's where I'm looking. If I want it acute, I can size my shape so it fits into that corner. Okay. Move your shapes around. Fit them as tightly as you can into the corners. When you're all done with all 10 of your, of your instructions, you're going to turn the assignment in for a grade.